What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL world? How you doing, division rivals? This is Stephen Heider with Gate City Sports Channel, the sports channel where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever it is you get around to watching us. Once again, guys, my name is Stephen Heider, and this is Gate City Sports Channel. So, if you are a new subscriber, listen, I'd love to add you to the community, but in order for that to happen, guys, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button. All my old G's, you already know what I'm going to ask you to do. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. All right, y'all. So, without further ado, I want to really jump into today's topic. Listen, the prospect I'm going to talk about today is a guy that has been a fan favorite for quite some time. And I'm talking about Justin Jefferson, okay? Wide receiver from LSU. This is what I'll tell you about Justin Jefferson, guys. When you talk about a space creator, a throwing window creator, a guy who can get separation, this is what stands out the most to me about Justin Jefferson's film. So without further ado, guys, today's topic and today's discussion, we're going to talk about that space creator, Justin Jefferson. All right, y'all, let's dive into the film. Look how fluid Jefferson is coming in and out of that break. All right, guys, when I watch film of Justin Jefferson, what I see is a guy who, generally speaking, uh, in college was a line as a wide receiver, so a slot receiver, playing towards the field side of the formation on the strong side of the formation. So he's a slot guy. Um, through college, he was mainly used as a slot guy, but there is, you know, some consensus around the league that the kid has the skill set to play outside, okay? Although he was not asked to do that as much in college, he still does have the skill set to play that outside positioning, but when you review the film, it, you know, it'll be undeniable, guys. He played in the slot majority of the time at LSU, but the kid ran a lot of different routes inside that slot, guys. I mean, he ran some vertical routes. This is all about closing distance between you and the cornerback and getting him flat-footed. He ran those quick in and out routes, the slant routes. The cornerback's playing off coverage with an outside technique. You want to stack him and get inside. Like, the kid is a pretty damn good route runner, guys. I, I would say that what is the strength of Justin Jefferson's game is the fact that he has lying eyes, okay? Eyes that will misdirect you and lie to you about his intentions, and it is one of the ways in which he will create separations from cornerbacks. If he confuses you or misleads you with those eyes, he's got you. And that is really the strength of Justin Jefferson's game. Watch his eyes and body set that corner up for the fade. Justin Jefferson is very good at creating space by manipulating defenders with his eyes and body motion. Corners playing with outside leverage, he's going to use that to his advantage, fake a slant, and go with that corner out. This is one of the strengths of his game, and I don't generally value slot receivers, guys that I think are primary a slot guy. Even if they have some ability to play outside, I don't normally value them anywhere near a first-round grade. But this kid is a little more than a slot receiver in the way that he manipulates defenders, guys. I don't care if you play the kid inside, outside. What this kid will do is give you a clean target to throw to. He's going to give you a wide open window to get the ball into because he just creates so much space by manipulating his man with his eyes. As a matter of fact, guys, there's a very famous tape of him from high school where he was at, I don't know if it was a practice session they were in or maybe it was some kind of a actual like, uh, like some, some sort of camp he was going to, but he famously manipulated a kid with his eyes and he just, <laughs> I mean, it's incredible to see it on film. Hits him with a little stutter step. He sells a post route. Woohoo! Right into that fade. I think the number one argument in favor of getting a guy like Justin Jefferson has to do with the fact of just how he creates separation with his route running and the way that he manipulates defenders with his eyes and with his body movement would give Carson Wentz a target to throw to. That's the number one you know, argument you can make in, in favor for a guy like Justin Jefferson is, look, it was no secret. Last season, we had a heck of a time getting guys who could separate from defenders and give Carson Wentz a target to throw the football to. 
This young man has that ability. He will win with his route running, and he does have the athleticism to actually turn small things into big plays. And that's something, admittedly, this offense does need. As soon as that happened, Jefferson ran right by him, and Joe Burrow, I mean... He I do like Justin Jefferson a lot, guys. I do think he's more than just a slot football player. And I think if you're looking at a guy like J.J. Ortega Whiteside, I don't know that Justin Jefferson immediately threatens him because if you're viewing these guys, and I, I don't personally view it this way, but there are some people who will. They view players as being kind of positionless or positionless in terms of the alignment of receivers. Then this guy would kind of fit as an in-and-out guy that can play both. So you can kind of pair him and J.J. Ortega Whiteside along with the, the matchups, the down, the distance, the, you know where you're at on the football field, all that kind of stuff. If I were to give someone I think is comparable to Justin Jefferson, I do think that there are some honest similarities between Justin Jefferson and Michael Pittman Jr. Now, the obvious being Michael Pittman Jr. is a little, he's a little taller. With that said, they're both these type of players that if you get them, if you get the football to them in space, they're dangerous. The way that they, the way that they pick up yards after the catch, their yak yards, it's not like a, a like they're bulldozing people. It's by this weird shifty quickness they have. And to be honest with you, is and Justin Jefferson is really good at this. Michael Pittman is phenomenal in space. I think Michael Pittman is really going to fit a West Coast offense. I just think that he is a prototypical West Coast offense receiver. But I do think there are some similarities between those two football players. With that said, get Justin Jefferson the football in space. Um, let him get vertical against certain guys. And look, at, look, this is a guy who's going to create separation because he's really, really precise in his movements with his eyes and his body to create that separation from defensive back. It was a good throw. He had it. But as he started to turn up field, just didn't. If you're waiting on the other shoe to drop on this prospect, meaning, okay, give us the downside here, Steve. Um, look, there there are a couple of teeny tiny concentration drops, but overall, this film's pretty good. It's not littered with drops. He's got pretty dependable hands. I'm not worried about this this young man's hands at all. That's that's not that's not the concern with this young man. If I had to give a concern, it's this. Um, he's a phenomenal football player, and and he really runs good routes. He He's probably top five in this class at route running. He's got very deceptive eyes. He will fool you with his eyes and his body motion. And if you if you follow his eyes and body motion, he's setting you up. Um, with that said, if you look at him from a practical standpoint of, do you draft a slot guy in the first round? That's a really hard sell. It's a, it's a hard sell for a person like me. I just don't believe in drafting slot guys that high. Now, does this young man look like he possesses the tools to play outside? Yeah, I think he does. I, I, I think he has enough, you can see in his route tree, to feel comfortable with him playing outside as an X receiver at, at the next level. I just think the problem is, is this draft is so loaded. You know, Why are you taking a project on a shortened NFL season, probably, in terms of the off-season drills that we can run, like spring camps and stuff like that, instead of taking a guy who's already has experience playing in the X with as many guys that are out there who already have experience running that route tree. I think that's where it kind of gets a little iffy with this particular prospect. Um, you can look at a guy like Michael Pittman Jr., like I said, who is a, another guy that with the ball in his hands is very dangerous. I think Michael Pittman Jr.'s after the catch, his, his yardage after the catch, his run after the catch ability is better than Justin Jefferson's person. I think it's better. But I think Justin Jefferson's vertical game and his ability to track the ball is better than Michael Pittman Jr. So, you know, to each his own kind of with some of these prospect guys. But that would be my concern with this young man. All right, y'all. I want to know what you guys think about this young man. I, I think he's a phenomenal character guy. And I do think there's a lot of upside here. But, like I said, guys, this is a shortened season. He doesn't have a lot of experience playing the X, even if he has the skill set to play it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about Justin Jefferson, y'all. All right, y'all. It's time to jump off here. You know how we end the videos. We go E-A-G-L-E-S. All right, y'all. I really appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. Thank y'all.